Hello everyone and welcome to an Age of Innocence cookie tutorial. Using blue food paste loaded on a brush that has been quite diluted, begin painting the watercolor background. Organically pounce both pink and purple food paste that has been diluted to a watery consistency on top of the still wet blue food paste. Using a skin tone color that you prefer, begin painting all of the parts of the toddler where skin is showing. I recommend starting with the legs just to build up your confidence. When you're painting her hands, you need to be mindful of the little area where her fingernails are located. You do not want to get any of the flesh tone color onto her fingernails. I find it advantageous to outline the facial features before painting her face. That way we have a map to guide us and we know not to go over the boundaries that we've outlined with the flesh tone color paste. When painting both the irises and the pupil, it's imperative that both the iris and the pupil attach to the top lid of her eye. If not, the eye will look like it's floating. I think I forgot to mention that I'm using green for the iris. And then of course for the pupil, we're going to paint with black. Next, we're going to paint the socks and her dress using the lightest tone of purple color that we can achieve. Continuing on with the dress, 
still using this lightest color of purple that we can achieve. We're going to paint the dress in areas that are this color or darker. Now that my lightest tone has dried for the bow, I can go back with my darkest color of purple and paint the boundary line for the outside portion of the bow as well as the darkest tone inside the center of the bow. With our lightest tones painted on the toddler's dress, we can now go back and begin painting our mid-tones and our darkest tones on her dress, bringing out the dimensional quality as well as movement. When painting our darkest tone of purple for the inside of the dress up against the skin of her leg, we want to make sure that we are being careful and methodical, keeping our hand against the work surface as we paint to eliminate any shaking. The full Age of Innocence cookie took me quite a while to paint. In order to make the tutorial manageable, I decided to only concentrate on the most important parts of the painting. Painting hair can be quite intimidating. I find the easiest way to do it is to look at the shapes in the hair rather than think of the hair as strands of hair. Then I like to paint the lightest tones first Next, I like to paint the lightest mid-tones. Then I start building a map or a guide by painting my darkest tones in the shadow areas. Finally, I need to bridge the gap of this very disjointed hair. I do so by painting in my mid-mid-tones and my darkest mid-tones. Don't worry about the colors, they'll all be listed in the description box below. Finally, I check to make sure that I'm in tonal value. If not, I'll juggle my, col my colors around. That looks pretty good, so we're gonna leave her how she is for right now. Moving down to the shoe, using a very light cream color, paint the strap of the Mary Jane and the top portion of the Mary Jane, both the left and the right shoe. Anyone who's been around a toddler knows those Mary Janes are not gonna stay clean. To give a nice dingy look to the Mary Janes, we're going to paint a little bit of brown. Using black food paste in the thickest consistency possible, we want to paint the side and the top of the shoe, making sure that we leave the highlight in the center of both the right and left shoe.
For the sole of the shoe, we're going to use brown. And you want to use a feathering motion as you paint the brown in at the bottom portion of the left shoe. The right shoe, the sole, is not showing. While I had the brown paste out, I decided to add a little bit more depth to our little toddler's hair. To blush her cheeks, use baby pink and make sure that you're blushing the whole area of the cheek, not just a tiny circle. To prepare the lace, you'll need to put it in a microwave safe container and use your microwave on half power for 15 minute intervals until you have a nice liquid form of the lace. Then pour it onto your mat and use a bench scraper to make sure that every bit of lace gets into the crevices of your mat. Allow the mat to dry for about 30 minutes. Gently lift the lace off of the mat, being careful to not tear it. Prepare it to put on your cookie. You're going to need some embroidery scissors to cut around the shape of your cookie and attach it with piping gel. Once you are done attaching the lace, you're finished with this cookie tutorial. If you would like to see the longer version of Age of Innocence or any of my other cookie tutorials, you can go over to shop.fitavenuecakes.com and become a member of my online school.